Explain. Welcome to Beer's Planing. Just had to announce our presence with authority. That's right. That's right. We're trying new things today. Trying new things today. That's right. Mix it up a little bit. Uh, Beer's now Esquire. Hoppy Hippo. Welcome to Beer's Planing. We are here at Beer's Planing on the 2nd of January once again. 3rd. 3rd of January, is it? Yeah, I happen to know third? that. You know the, you know why? Third January. Oh, it's your birthday! It's your birthday. <laughs> it's your birthday. <laughs> this is birthday. It is my birthday. All right, so uh, let's talk about today. Well, this particular episode's tasting. We are going to be tasting Open this United 19.2 ounce Zapatos de Baile. Baile? Bile? Yes. I'm it's sure it's not bile. B-A-I-L-E. I don't know. I think it's Bail. Baile. I think it's by it's Spanish. But it's Spanish. It's, it's is it dance? It is dance. Dancing shoes. Yeah, it is dance. dancing. Dancing. Oh, zapato. Yeah, it's dancing shoes. But how do you say? Bi it's by it's baile. It's baile. It's like bailamos. Yeah. Bailamos. I you're you know you're way beyond me there. I don't you don't know, know bailamos. Nope. Nope. You gotta remember I don't do. You, know, you don't know by the most? I, the, I you don't, don't know by the most. Oh nope. my god. Whatever. We're I don't about even know to, what the hell that is. Whatever. We're about to drink this Oakland United Zapatos de Baile. <laughs> I fucked it up anyway. <laughs> no, no, Baile is right, I think. Baile is right, I think. Yeah. So, uh, this is a Mexican lager. Uh, it's got a whole description on it, which um, we'll read about later. 5.2%. Uh, 5.2. So, this should be kind of a smooth, easy drinker. <clears throat> this is the kind of stuff you can crush. It should be reminiscent to some extent of like a Corona or Correct. a Dos Equis, a regular Dos Equis. Uh, the Dos Equis lager. Not yeah, the, the lager, yes. not the dark. Yes, the green uh, bottle, not the brown bottle. So uh, that's the goal? Yeah, so, it, you, you basically should get, it should be very mild flavors. It should be um, not very aromatic. It really should just be a very uh, fresh. Uh, like super crushable. Like it Yeah, should, I should, mean, should, yeah. It should just be really easy drink, but, but, but my guess is they've, added something to it just to make it dancing shoes but i guess we'll find out you know um so this is from oakland united beer works located in the jack too. london area mm -hmm. of oakland we love those guys if you're interested in more info about oakland beer works um oakland united beer works check out their website um just google oakland united beer works yes. um also we did an interview with their main brewer mm -hmm. and their head of um their front of house front of house yeah uh, if you could check back in our archives mm -hmm. check that out their main brewer is incredibly knowledgeable so was their um front of house his um, his beer nerdiness was fun to yeah. they gave experience. Us, they really, gave us great really info. Was. They gave us a beautiful mm -hmm. tour. Um, it was probably one of our um one of our highlights of 2020. To be honest with you, it, it probably was one of the top five things we got to do because of COVID. I agree, and, so, and I can't wait to get back out there and experience the whole place. Like, absolutely, you know, the upstairs yeah. being yes. open. Yes. I, again, if they do a magic draft know, there, go, I go. am there for I'll that. I'll go. I'll go. So, so anyway, so yeah, so we should get try we should get a very a very fresh, vibrant. Uh, rinse out some. Yeah. I gotta rinse. I gotta rinse out my uh, my barrel ace real quick with the Dr Pepper action. Uh, I get you. Well, I'm gonna pour mine. Oh, it's got good color. It does. It, it looks like it looks like a lager. It's actually um. You get some differences in lager colors. Your Boston lager, for example, your Sam Adams is a lot more brown. I don't think that that's the right way to do a lager, but that's just me. Uh, obviously, the people at Sam Adams disagree with me. I think this is a better lager color. I think you want something a little more on the golden side, lighter color. Um, it is a nice gold. Because you the malt white starts to get in the way. I, I just, you know, for like a Sam Adams, for example, the malt just starts to get in the way of the refreshing, refreshing flavors that you're looking for, I think, in a lager. So I think this is a great color for a lager. Yeah, beautiful white head on this. It's a very open foam, I think, um, mm -hmm. which I think is really, really nice. Um, it looks great. Look for this. This should be a, this should be a good beer. should be very different than the last beer. It's got smells. Yeah. Very mild. But you get... I don't know what it smells like, necessarily. It kind of I'm smells getting, like a Mexican lager. <laughs> I'm getting a little bit of the malt. I mean, it talks about it's got a lot of two-row malt and flaked maize, which is corn, uh, for a light drinkable body that allows subtle fruit from the Zappa hops. That's why... Zapatos. It's Zapatos. I get it. I think it smells good. I'm wondering it's if not. the hops, by the way, are they named after Frank Zappa? Like, is it a thing? I'm just curious. I don't know if Frank Zappa's like a thing in Mexico. I don't know. No, the hops. Are, I don't know. I got you know he was a pot guy too. I got nothing. I got nothing. I got nothing. The smell is good. I'm gonna find out. It smells good. I drink the smell. <clears throat> I drink the smell of eight range. It smells like what it's I would flowery. Want, what I would want a Mexican lager to smell like. It's a little flowery. Oh, yeah. Let's try this. So oh, you're just gonna kill that. I actually really like it. No, no, no. I mean, um, you're you're just gonna. Yeah, I think it's it doesn't taste. It definitely does not taste like Corona or Dos Equis. Nope. No, the, the extra um, hops they put in this, I think, provide a nice flavor. Like the secondary mm -hmm. flavor is really, really nice. You get you're getting. Uh, I think the secondary flavor you're getting is more of the malt than the hops. You think? I think the hops are the the initial burst of, of that flowery flavor that you get. 
And then the, the what sits on your tongue is the malt. Why is she pointing uh, at it? Why are you pointing at it? It is named after Frank Zappa. In collaboration with the Zappa family, this hops is as counterculture as the musician himself. Like it. Like it. Thank you, producer Denise. Future video editing, pop up video that, all right? Yes. I don't know. <laughs> pop up video. <laughs> no, no, I mean, when, 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 when our, when our video editor video edits, you can pop oh, okay. up video style. Yeah, yeah like comment. a little Frank Zappa thing. Yes. Um, so I do. I, I'm getting, I think what you're getting, and this is just me, that, that sitting in the middle of your tongue is the malt that, I, that I'm really enjoying. It, like I say, and, and when I say kill this, I, I mean. I would rate this like super high. Like I agree. I just no, think no, it's I, really, I, I, really I good. I'm going to crush it. That's really what it is. I'm just I've been cutting them off for like nine months. I really it like the sound of my so, own voice. There's a reason I started Can you clarify you're going to crush it? That means it's good. Oh, no, it's, Crushing it's is good. Crushable okay, is down. good in beer. Okay. Crushable yeah, it means you is... can drink it. Fast. Oh, crush like you crush the can because it's so, so delicious. So when I yes. think in Mexican lager, for me, it's like, you know, <laughs> you spent the whole day working, working out. Like, okay, if we did a half marathon. I wasn't sure where you're going with this. I, I, can, a good I can kill <laughs> good this thing. I can you do a half marathon. I was a little worried. You're kind of worn out, you know. You kind of had a, a hard day. You need something good and tasty, but you don't want it to be all over the place because you're a little exhausted. I'm gonna I'm gonna enjoy the hell out of this. Beer. Also, when so, it's 100 degrees. So you're saying this yes. might might be a better option than just like, crushing some double IPA post run? Yeah, yeah, that's what I'm saying. Even though I'd love the double IPAs, obviously which I, we've done a lot of. Which we've done a lot of, you know, post run. But, but usually not the long runs. Like yeah. after the long runs, you do go longer usually. You do go longer. So, so I, I think this is really good. And again, it does. It's got to be the hops that's lingering. I, it's, there's is, something there. This is like a super good kegerator beer, I think. Because everyone oh, who yes. comes over, oh, everyone yes. who comes over will enjoy this beer. A poker night beer, exactly. They right. will relax. They will have the beer. They mm -hmm. will enjoy the beer. I think, and you won't feel bad about like 40 ounces of it. Like most, I mean, 40 pints. Most of the time with your kegs, the truth is, 40 pints of the same beer. That's a lot. Depending on the beer. Is rough, yes. it, it, especially if no one's coming over. Like you know, my last, bought my last keg during COVID. I'm pretty sure that um only you and I have basically drank the entire keg. Uh, also from true. Oakland United Beer Works and great, I might add. Um, yes, it's very good. That's a great beer. <laughs> but uh, like I once had a uh, belting beaver, belting beaver peanut butter stout on the keg. Yeah, see, I couldn't do that. Forty pints of that's just too much. Yeah, it took a while. It's a great beer, but it took a while. It was it's fine when poker nights happens. You're just like, yeah, the peanut butter stout's in the right one. And they can get some of that. Right. It's usually people who don't drink a lot of beer. So that's true. But, but that's why I think it. this is a great, for example, poker night beer. Because yeah. you know what? You're not going to get shit-faced because right. it's only 5.5%. Right? You can have three or four pints while you're playing some poker and not really. And not for not, Mexican lagers are usually less expensive to make because the, the grain bill is really very small. So you're probably not spending 130 bucks on a keg. Right? You're probably spending 80 Throw this in your ice tub. Get your picnic pump. You're good to go. I agree with that. This would be a this this would be a great yeah a great summer party beer. Mm -hmm. I great totally agree totally agree. They make good beer. Cheers over there, to man. the boys of Beer United, man. They make mm -hmm. good beer for real. Mm -hmm. Um. <clears throat> yeah, you know I'm gonna rate this in Untapped in a few minutes. I'm pretty sure that I've rated previously, but I feel like this is about a four point two five kind of. I'm going month. at least four and a quarter. It's very yeah. very good. Mm -hmm. Um, we are um. Both making an effort this year, by the way, to rate all of our beers on, on, untapped. Um, on untapped, including taking photos, which means I should probably we have not photos to take. drink the whole thing before I take a photo. Let me pour the rest more. of this here. Mm -hmm. uh, someone take a photo of this real quick. Shane, get a photo of this. I beer. got a photo. <laughs> I'll be with the drapes in the background. Get this little photo right here for my untapped profile. Great. It doesn't be perfect. It's for untapped. Nobody even fucking looks at the pictures. No, it actually looks like so bad. Uh, we'll have to pour that and get a yeah, beer. We'll get that back. Back. So, um, so that's, I mean, that's long story beach. short, this is a really good beer. Uh, it, it's very tasty. It, it is a great summertime beer. Uh, we would definitely recommend it. We recommend Oakland United Beer Works just as a general rule. I think they make great beers. Yes. Um, they haven't done any sours yet, I don't think. They had a couple, like, well, we haven't been there in a while. We probably should head um, back over there. Just I'm hoping know. maybe they get into a kettle sour thing because I expect that um, their brewer is going to come up with some fantastic flavors. Yeah, he, he's sours. a little, um, his creativity would be fun to have in the cellar. Yeah, I think he's great. I think he's great. So, uh, no rant this episode. No, no, no rants. Got my rants out. Rant free. Go. We're going to get an extra rant in, I think, during the next episode just because. Because um, it's know, sour. Why not do a little ranting? Am I right? Well, yeah, you know. Am I right? All right. You got to so, do something. So, so, let's see here. So, uh, cheers to everyone. Cheers to everyone. Find, cheers to 2021. If you can find a beer like this that's crushable, that's tasty, um, get it, drink it. Enjoy with a friend right here. Cheers. Cheers.